will be too much. Well, professor, you're in very good company. Uh, we've got some very good scientific and mathematical minds. So please, the floor is yours. Uh, maybe Bruno mm -hmm. can continue to try to share screen, but please do go ahead and just describe for us I what is the universal describe. gene. I can describe the undescribable. The mathematics I, I discovered is not created, it's discovered. It's God creation, in fact. It's a qualitative and semantic mathematics who doesn't work on binary logic, but uh, trivalent, tetravalent, pentavalent, hexavalent, septavalent. And the application, I wanted to show you, describes the logic of words that is transmitted to us is absolutely incredible. And the direction that humanity has, where to go. And putting questions, what, why, how, where, when, and so on, is a number of questions. I found that complete description of events, complete description of events. This is not all, this is just a step. Uh, I found the genome of the universe, genome of the universe that has four symbols. Taking those symbols two by two, I obtained gravity, electromagnetism, weak interactions, strong interactions, uh, including, including um, the first explosion of the universe. This is the spin structure in which f of x, x is equal to x that can be translated I am who I am. I am that I am. I am that I am, yes. The tetragrammaton. Yeah. <clears throat> the, these are the automorphism of the projective line. Close to be translated. What, why, and so on. What, why, how? Exactly. Sorry, what, how, why, where, and the last where? one? He's showing the X, Y, and Z axis of all oh, those. Why, it's, it says here. Yes. Who I am, what, how, when, where, why. These are these are the first the first projections. That means the first symbols that are not letters that can be translated into letters. Not letters, messages, in fact. You understand? The symbols that can transfer into messages. Yeah, okay, it's very difficult for us to visualize that so far, but carry on. I try to, to continue. Oh, oh, oh. This is really huge, people. You have no idea. I think I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> yes, it's huge. It's huge. It's incredible. And here, we have the scam that put us in contact with other civilizations.
I'm really, really sorry that I couldn't show you everything today. Well, let's let's just walk through and talk through because we only have another 20 minutes on this segment. Um, so let's just talk through what the applications uh, will be or may be with well, this uh, with this algorithm. With this algorithm, I found that the number of particles are 216. Oh my Even God! Who get a Lisi algebra E8? What are the ramifications of that, David, as you understand it? Well, it's a, it's an octave of 432 because 216 times an octave, which is 2, is 432. And, and that's the magic number that we've been transmitting on transmitting on with these. So, the, you know, him and I really need to talk on, a, you know, after the symposium, Sasha, and, and, and Donovan as well, uh, because this is more profound than I think anybody can realize. I think yeah. I know where this goes because that 216 number, okay, the Navy data radar from, from Kevin Day on the USS Princeton saw the UFO jump 60 miles per second, which is 216,000 miles an hour. So we, we've got the same number. So <laughs> this is, which again, times an octave is 432, right? So, so let's, I mean, I, I think Donovan and I can understand this, Shanaz, as well. It needs to be watered down for the public, but you're you're looking at a mass of genius here. That's all I can tell you. What he's tuned into is far more profound than anyone can possibly imagine. Exactly. Thank you, David. Exactly. Very good. I, I see it. So, Professor, Professor, just if I may, um, some of the applications are, for instance, uh, something that you are exploring next year with the cryptocurrency and the capacity to evaluate people coming in. Yeah, yes, it's make... different also. <laughs> evaluate, uh, my colleague is doing this, uh, but he worked three years with, my, with me. So, um, uh, we, can, we can evaluate perfectly the profile of the person, the psychological profile. Right. So you can do psychological profiling. You can yes. do psychological profiling, essentially. Yes. And um, wh why, a, why, 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 let me just finish the question. Let me finish the question. Let me finish the question. Okay. Let me finish the question kindly. You can do psychological what is the distinction between psychological, emotional, intellectual, moral, everything. spiritual? What's everything. the separation? Everything. Including leadership capacities. So what I'm hearing here is that democracy, which is the worst possible model for a civilization, yeah is going to become reformed because people who are enlightened people people who are compassionate people who are creative and empathic they will be adjudicated to be able to have more of a voice than somebody who is a gangster and a drug dealer on the street who doesn't give a damn about service to humanity and this has been the problem with the democracy model but we can now apply this algorithm to that, correct? Absolutely correct. And uh, with using this algorithm, we obtained the network of professionals. That is the most important of all, network of professionals. And if we put on eight levels of complexity, now we, they are working, my colleagues, to go to eight levels of complexity, we can solve absolutely everything. A level of complexity is the maximum. But using, because it's very delicate and uh, much to work uh, using these uh, eight levels in the network, obtain, solve absolutely everything. 
universe can be described everything by uh, the first uh, axioms of Euclid is completely crazy because G algebra of Gerolisi is so incredibly complex and that can be described with Euclid. More than this, we can find the link to numbers. The link to numbers uh, is uh, created by uh, uh, Fibonacci sequences. Yeah, yeah. And that brings us directly to the shape of the universe of flowers and everything else. So in your X, Y, Z axis of what, why, when, where, and how, you can, you can determine everything that's happened in the history of the world and what will happen next. Is that true? <laughs> yes. I don't have this now, but I know how the history is working. Right. You know how that history is working. The code, the God code. There Very are good. years of work in which I, every day, every day, starting from nothing, I started from um, universal diagram, uh, starting the, for um, Prigojin, Ilya Prigojin, Sars sensor decident, and um, from the triangulated category. This is all. But I observed the nature. And I read between 500 and 1,000 pages per day of science. With fast reading. I was fortunate because God put his finger on my on me. He's not my merit, he's his merit. <laughs> That's impressive. Thank you for that. Thank you too. Our, if our you don't use the, the appropriate logic. If you don't use the appropriate logic, you cannot decipher anything. Right. Property of logic, right? Is that what you said? Well, he's binary logic is the worst. He's saying he. You're saying that you have a, a an algorithm or formula that can resolve algebra very er elegantly, rather no. than no, no. You're not saying that. <laughs> My mathematics describes. What is, well, uh, before constant of Planck and going to the universe, mm -hmm. but only some parts, maybe more, but I had no time to, to go to everything because it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's a algebraic fractal, so it's fractalizing every, every detail. But algebraic no. fractals are they Fibonacci? No, they're not. No, mm -hmm. algebraic fractals Fibonacci is a, just a consequence, right? Algebraic fractals is huge. Mm -hmm. But now I succeeded to, to reach uh, the cover of everything, so it is round like a ball. Mm -hmm. It's like an egg. It's like an egg. It's like yes. So right. that that reminds me of flower of life, right? Does... Yes. Okay, yeah. good. So at least the seed of life, right? The and the mitosis, right? The process that are that is right. That's how the cell gets multiplied in our body, yeah. and that's how the human body comes into existence. 
Yeah, well, probably I didn't study because uh, I told you it's very, very complicated and I was alone. Uh, no students, no colleagues, nothing. <laughs> well, it seems like you're finding students between me and David, right? <laughs> yeah, I really want to learn. <laughs> Really yeah, well. yeah, and David, I'm game for that too, and I think Eliza would like it as well. So, see, Newton said every action has an equal and opposite reaction, but what I've seen in mathematical data is there's always, if everything had an equal and opposite reaction, then, then everything would stop. There has to be a leftover, so in, there has to be a ratio in in the two reactions and yes one of them has to be slightly stronger or weaker than the other just no. a tiny bit <laughs> no nothing of ratio excepting the first ratio that described <laughs> the projective line the projected light line line the projected line yeah yes line. who has four points one zero one one over two and infinity. Zero, one, and one over two and infinity. Exactly. The other ratios everywhere. We don't find another one. Right. You don't find any other ratios anywhere. No way. Just that. Zero, one, and one over two. And hmm. infinity. Which is an octave. One over two is an numbers in the decimal series. If you do Equivalent logic is the only number of logics. Trivalent. Everything is regarding to three. Everything is regarding the genome of the universe, but are three kinds of symbols that will give three of three times, and they will give three of three packages of three of three times. Oh, wow. That's if I can say something about number three, right, because of the triangle, right? Again, I'm going back to tetrahedron, but I wanted to say that there are three nucleoids. I know you don't want to relate that, and that's fine, but there are three nucleoids in codons. Oh, yes, in codon, yes, it's okay. And three... In GTAC, are you talking about... What? Which three th Which three are you talking about? I'm talking about there are three nucleo nucleotides in one codon, right, in our DNA, which is our blueprint, which does the entire decoding uh, to figure out the protein. You mean GTAC? Of... I'm not sure. Right. There are yeah. three nucleoids actually uh, that are uh, that makes one codon. So that's just the fact. And I'm just kind of emphasizing on the number three being the number of creation. It's a triangle. Right. It's, uh, it's the number 369 relates to it partly because that's where it all starts. The creation starts with three. So I agree with you. <laughs> three is the first geometry because two points, it just gives you a line, which exactly. is Exactly. That's why the three triangle the is the basic you have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes. Trinity. Yes. <laughs> in Bucharest, who was revealing the universal gene, um, which I'm glad I had people on the panel smart enough to understand. So David Sarita and Shinaz absolutely understood the significance of this universal gene. I'm looking forward to introducing you guys to Professor uh, Kolchiak, the incredible human being whose algorithm I think is gonna change uh, life as we know it, as, as early as next year. Well, anyway, he's coming to Mexico and plan to make a big film on the universal gene and this incredible algorithm in simple terms again it's going to change the face of this planet because through this algorithm and the professor's 50 60 years of mathematics we are now this next year 2022 we are able to communicate with truths you can put electrode on your head electrode on a tree and the supercomputer the quantum computer and uh, that he's uh, that can do the does the work now and you can literally through the mathematics now connect with nature and understand what the tree is communicating to you. Moreover, you can do it with clouds, and you can do it with the ocean, you can do it with all um, na nature. I'll just.